Yesterday, a college vice president sent out, sent out an email campus-wide, including to students. It said he feared next year his time would be spent shutting the college down. The email actually was only intended to be sent confidentially to one person. Tonight, I got reaction from students. The campus of Holy Cross College is quiet today, but that wasn't the case on Friday morning after students woke to an email from a vice president. He was talking about how uh, liberal arts colleges are on the downfall of the, in the United States. It also mentioned money problems that the school may have, leaving students worried about what that means for them. I think at first there was definitely some shock and surprise on campus. But students I talked to say some of the shock wore off when the interim president, Father David Tyson, emailed out a response. It reads in part, this was one person's opinion and does not reflect the conversations that the board of trustees and administration are having about the future of the college. I want to reassure you that I am fully committed to the success of Holy Cross College, regardless of what rumors may be circulating. I am looking forward to classes beginning in August. I think recently, the, with the more discussion the students have had, there's been a much more tempered and reasonable response, and we've come to understand it's the reaction and the publication of one administrator, not of any official capacity of the school. Him sending that out meant a lot to us, us, us students. Many students say they're confident in their school and hopeful the email that spread like fire is just an opinion and not fact. Well, any incoming freshmen that are nervous about it, they shouldn't be. We're all going to be here for the years to come. Tomorrow, you can learn more about this in your Sunday South Bend Tribune. Tribune. Reporter Margaret Fosmo, who broke the story, will have more on this, including the financial challenges the college has been facing. At the Live Desk, Jesse Schultz, WSBT 22 News.